Well, hello and welcome. And I just wanted to show you what i come up with so far is for the pumpkin pie factory. I have sort of a... well... This is what I did. I took one of these pumpkins and took a look at it. And it's 16 by 16. And you see these dark areas here? I graphed this out on a piece of paper. I have these dark areas, these light areas, and then these brown areas. And I kind of meticulously uh, reconstructed it using one pumpkin for each pixel. And these were ordinary pumpkins like this one. These light ones are jack-o'-lanterns, which are the pumpkins with a torch inside. And for the dark area, I decided to use uh, the face of the pumpkin facing outward. Let me get a little closer and you can tell me how it turned out. And I made sort of a base for it too, it's not right on the ground. Most of the interior is ripped down. And it did take me a while to grow all these pumpkins, by the way. Some of them I bought, but uh, the admin shop, you can only buy four at a time. So I would have been clicking there forever. There's the side. And the side... I did the same thing. I'm, I made a graph of the side showing these dark and light areas, then reconstructed it. But the weird thing is on this texture pack, texture pack, you can't really tell the difference. It looks like it's all the same. But it is exactly like this with um, unlit pumpkins here and then jack-o'-lanterns all through here. You can't really tell. Same thing on this side. I used the same pattern. The real, whoop, what was that? A little bit of lag. Okay. They look like they're all. I don't know. Maybe if you put a jack o' lantern next to an, a pumpkin, then the light kind of spills over and, blend, and they blend together somehow. Well, this is the inside. The only thing left is the old pumpkin maker. All the top levels are have been ripped down. And I had to expand it out because it was 15 by 15 and the pumpkin is 16 by 16 so I had to expand it one block in each direction. And the uh, I'm not sure I like how this turned out, where I was I was using the the uh, pumpkin face itself to make a darker spot, which sounded pretty pretty cool in theory, but this is how it turned out. So I decided on the other side, I was going to repeat the face on the other side. So I did the, the same thing with the jack-o'-lanterns and the pumpkins, but instead of the dark, on the dark areas I just used uh, dark oak wood. I'll show you how that turned out. Alright, I suppose I could use like brown wool or something, but I've already used the wood. So that's what it looks like. I don't know. Let me look at it from a distance. This is somebody else's build. It's a tower with a underground f or underwater farm, which is pretty cool. It's a uh, Buster. He was in one of my other videos. All right, that's what it looks like from the water. Giant pumpkin. I don't know the the darker areas. You can kind of see the lines in the in the wood. So maybe brown wool would be better because it would be more uniform. 
I can still take it down on the other side. You know, poke out the dark spots and somebody's been mining out my hill. But uh yeah, um let's see. I haven't done much in here, but uh, well, I still have this I have to rip down. I'm going to lower it to this to this level. Right now it's just lit up, but this is basically what the inside looks like. And I did notice something interesting. When you put blocks next to the pumpkins you can kind of tell which ones are pumpkins and which ones are jack-o-lanterns you see that like in the corner here these are these darker ones are the pumpkins these are the jack-o-lanterns but you have to put something right next to it for it to show up like that. The top, I'm thinking about just making glass to keep the rain out. Because as, as I said before, the top level is going to be the pumpkin generators, which require um, uh, daylight sensors to work on automatic. This is where my old chicken farm was. I'm not sure what to do with a chicken farm. I'm thinking that'll probably be on the second level. I'm going to put the the little customer area here on the first level. Plus, I'm going to put um, the sugar cane farm on the first level. Or I don't know, maybe maybe I could make three levels up there for the ingredients and then make this whole make all of this into like a shopping area well I'm still trying to decide that and also there are uh, shops in town where you can build an actual shop where people can like buy and sell things with you so I don't know if I want to like move part of this the operation there right into the town. At the very least, I want to see if I can get one of the shops and like advertise there. And say you know, come to um, where are we? X minus one twenty seven Y twenty my Y seventy six Z minus three sixty nine, and enjoy some free pumpkin pie. Hmm. Well, there we go. That's the next stage. Actually, my... Oh, you know, I just noticed my door is off-center now that... Now that I had to expand it. So I guess I'll have to... Make a double door? I could do that. are both on the inside. I guess I could expand my little sign here. Alright, well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.